Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're coming to you today from Cape Henelopen. We're gonna talk a little bit about biodiversity today. So what is biodiversity? If we break it up, bio, diversity. Bio means life, diversity means variety. So we're looking at the variety of life. So the cool thing about Cape Henelopen is we've got a couple different ecosystems here, but we're gonna focus on the bay ecosystem today. We have a big seine net, we're gonna take it out, we're gonna catch a bunch of stuff, then we're gonna look at it in our baby pool and see what we catch, okay? This is a seine net, guys. We're using this to catch a variety of things that we can find in the bay here. Everything from fish, crabs, home jellies, which is a kind of a type of jellyfish. And we should get a bunch of good stuff. So we're just gonna bring it around. So down here, we've got a bunch of really cool things that we caught. Okay, so I'm actually gonna start with the littlest fish because they're a little bit um, more sensitive, but they also have some really cool adaptations. Okay, so you can see we have like a whole little school of these guys. So these are called silver sides. And the reason that they're called silver sides is because, let me see if I can catch one. Okay, if you look, see the side of the fish is silver. Now the other cool adaptation about them is if you kind of look, they're see-through. So this kind of protects them from the other predators that are found in the bay, because these are all babies. They're gonna get much bigger than this. It's one of the benefits of the bay side of the ocean, is it's like a little nursery where the fish come to lay their eggs, because there's a little more, a little more protected, not as many predators. We do also have this one. Where'd he go? He's a huge fish. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay, so you can see his adaptation here. Ooh. Um, <laughs> he is going to be eating off of the top of the water. It's why his mouth is facing up. That's going to be an adaptation. So he'll see things like these little silver sides and come up and eat them. We also have these guys. So if you look, this is actually a mud snail shell, but inside of the shell, the snail probably died. And we have little hermit crabs that have taken over the shell. So that's how they've adapted. They're using the homes of a different creature to protect their soft bodies, right? Because hermit crabs on the inside are actually very, very soft. It was nice he came out to see us like that. We also have some seaweed that we caught. So this is gonna be like a huge, it's actually called sea lettuce. Um, you can kind of tell it looks just like lettuce, right? Um, this is huge for the habitat in the bay because there's so many organisms that are going to be eating plant matter instead of other organisms. This really cool organism, this is called a comb jelly. They're in the, like the family with jellyfish, but comb jellies are really cool. So if you look, you can see like there are like these little like feather type things. That's, his, that's how he eats, right? So he's eating um, phytoplankton that's found in the water. But, so when I take him out, right, he looks just like a big glob of jelly. He doesn't have stingers like a jellyfish does. So he can't hurt me. Um, but they're, really, they're a really cool addition to the bay ecosystem. So that is all we caught today. But if you look, we have, okay, so we have one, two, three, four 
different species of organisms. So that's what we're talking about with biodiversity. You can see that there's obviously more of the silver sides than there are of the other things, right? We only caught one of the menhaden. We caught about five um, hermit crabs. So these guys, right? If it was just silver sides that lived in the bay, that would have a very low biodiversity. But because we have a good variety here, it means that we're gonna have a greater biodiversity. And biodiversity is really important. It's why things like invasive species are so bad because they eliminate the biodiversity of an ecosystem. You want to have that variety of life so you have more things for predators to eat, right? If all of the silver sides died out, if that was all that was there, the entire ecosystem would collapse. But because there is variety, the ecosystem won't collapse if one organism is gone. So I hope you enjoyed our adventure today in the Delaware Bay. Um, I hope you tune in next time, okay? Have a great day, guys. Bye.